Hi, this is Ron with HTP Training Center here today with our modules, hydro block modules for our new ELU boilers. On this one here, this is the module for the smaller boiler. This is a boiler, not a combi, and it's on our ELU 85 up to 150 combi. And this is our larger hydro block, which is on our 150 boiler on up to 199 combi. Smaller circulator pump on a smaller module. It's held in with four millimeter Allen screws, very easy to take apart. We have a three-way valve here, which comes apart very easily with just removing a clip and popping out. We have an automatic air vent on the pump head, and this is our water pressure switch that also comes off very easily with just pulling a pin and popping out very easily. This has a built-in bypass on the back, so if we have a zone with a lot of restriction, this will bypass and protect the heat exchanger from starving for flow. Gas valve in the center comes off very easily if need to with two screws from the bottom. We have a three-way valve here on the supply, a one-inch BSP Taco circulator pump that comes off pretty easy with two nuts. Here we have a flow turbine meter that's going to measure the flow entering the boiler and this is our water temperature outlet. Here is our three-way valve. Again, the, the motor can be removed while the system is wet. You don't have to drain the system on either module. You can replace the motor. We have our water pressure switch under the boiler pump. Same thing, a little switch that pops right out, a little clip. And this is a combi, so we have our flat plate heat exchanger. And this is our bypass, again, so if we have a zone with low flow, we have a bypass to provide flow to the heat exchanger. Braze plate is very easy to take apart. There's two four millimeter screws on the large unit and a recess in the back. You take off those two screws after you drain the water out of the system and this will pop right out and come out. The smaller units, it, the braze plate would be right here and there's two T20 Torx screws right here holding the braze plate on the back. A little dimple in the back of the housing and it pushes back and lifts right up and out also. On the larger units, we provide NPT connections, so you will just connect right up to that with your fittings. On the smaller units, they come with a BSP connection. So what we do is we provide piping and a gasket that will connect up and bring it to your one inch pipe for your heat and three quarter for domestic. You can have them installed going towards the outside. You can have them installed coming towards the inside a little bit just to give you some flexibility. And we provide a uni-strut bracket that this will bolt up and clamps and provides a nice solid connection for all the piping. On this three-way valve, this comes with a little collar and a couple little clips. Easiest way to open this up is a small screwdriver in between with a little pressure and it pops open. Spin it around the same on the other side. You get a new collar with the three-way valve motor, so don't worry about breaking it. And this just pops right off. There's a little ball indent there, and it just snaps over and connects right up easy enough. If you do need to get into the three-way valve itself, you do need to drain the pressure off the system and drain the system. And on the larger units, it just unscrews and comes out as one unit and it separates on O-rings. This is our gas valve. It's standard on all our units. It's the same valve. With the yellow cap on it, on the very bottom, that is our inlet pressure tapping. So you would look that for incoming pressure to the gas valve. This here is our manifold pressure or the outlet of the gas valve. So you would check for your manifold pressure on this port. This is your throttle adjustment for high fire only and it uses a four millimeter Allen. And this is an offset adjustment for low fire only that uses a T40 Torx for adjustment. Pressure tappings inside take T10 to open the port to sense the pressure. On the smaller ELU units, there is a heating filter on the unit. There's two clips here. One thing that comes in handy with these boilers is a little hook tool. You can get in here and grab this clip easy enough and pull out your heating filter to check that. It really protects the unit, protects the flow switch from, protects you know, the boiler pump from any debris. Okay, and on the smaller ELU units also, there is a built-in drain on the bottom. You will see it sticking down. 
you would turn it to open to drain the module. If you're going to change the pump cartridge or the pump or anything in the hydro block, it's good to drain it from here and drain all the water out. It also takes a six millimeter Allen wrench if you can't get your hand up there to loosen it.